Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix really coming from the S&P and NASDAQ 100. They're both trading just a bit lower. The S&P 7 points, about two-tenths, about half a percent for the NASDAQ 100. That would be 59 points. To the upside, the Dow is trading up 35 points, one-tenth, two-tenths for the Russell, four points, nearly five. The semi's up four-tenths, 11 points. Tranny's up eight-tenths, 120 points to the upside. Gold's up nearly 12 bucks. Silver's up a nickel. Lights be crude up 56 pennies. Natural gas is up a couple of cents. And the 30-year Treasury down nearly one point. Trading out at 123.05. Let's go try to figure out what all that means, Jelly Bean. If we begin by taking a look at the ES Mini, it did not form that profile that we took a look at yesterday. So its profile level support is down at the 4086, I'm sorry, at the 3844 level. Now, if price can spike below the 3947.50 level today we've been down what 3950 yeah 3950 even but if we do spike below the 3975.75 level that will generate and that's today that will generate or that will trigger bar number eight of a TD9 count and then that would require uh, price to uh, close above tomorrow close below tomorrow I should say. You'd have the ES Mini would need to close below 3975.75 uh, tomorrow. So there's two things to be looking at. And it's worthwhile to pay attention to that possible TD9 count, specifically because we've got that spot volatility, which is now below its 50 day exponential moving average. Closed just below it yesterday. I tested and rejected it so far this morning. And another close below 2080 or 2068. That would be bullish for the ES Mini. The NQ. Also needs a spike below. This would be today or tomorrow. Needs a couple things to set up. But a spike below 11.923 today would set up bar number 8 of a TD9 count. And, of course, a bullish reversal candle would simply confirm a Gartley buy pattern. U.S. dollar index uh, does have a TD9 count top. That means you need to see a close above 105.32 to negate that pattern and suggest higher price. Otherwise, right now, we just have a consolidation with inside its daily profile between 103.84 and 104.82. Goldilocks. It's got that TD9 count bottom. Price trading up into resistance, which is in the 1856 level. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, 18, yeah, 1856.40 to be exact. That is the top of its daily profile. New profile did form in silver. That's above price. That's really a bearish message out there. Light Street Crude consolidating between support of 74.40 and 79.24. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start for Monday, please have a wonderful one. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.